What's up everyone? This is Saint Sack Night One back with a new Let's Play for you all. Let's play Catherine for the 360. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much. You piss off already. Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Narrator. Uh, make sure your vibration's off. And control's alright. Okay, I think I'll let the game uh, our tell its own little story instead of just start the story blabbing game. over it. And we're just going to go for normal. Now, grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Cancel the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. Kore wa genji, so like a dream. Mazaru mix to no corner cream. Tsunagaru shikumi wa hand to hand. Hito to no kanke wa end to end. Gain ten to go, musibu ten to ten. Ato wa sensi de kimale ume no ume. Left ka right ka dingo, say you move the brick. Step up, step toy, take a trick. Man, you gotta fight for your chick. Demo fk mo iru kara deki nai pick. Chigan wa nai se kyo dai. Kimi ha se ba kyo dai. Life 
Start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional pad to move and climb. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Like I said before in my uh, ending to... I actually forgot what the hell I was playing before this. Good lord, he'll come to me eventually, but... supposed to move these things press the a button to grab the block while holding the block use the directional pad to push or pull it you can also undo your last move by pressing back use it to give yourself a second chance all right i was playing sonic adventure dx so as i said before Interruptions. If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. So, as I'm trying to say, this game is actually a puzzle game where you move blocks around to get up higher and higher and avoid falling to your death. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. Yes, thank you very much. I can do this by myself. I'm not dense. Things are getting a hell of a lot hotter later on. This is very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. The edges glow bluish-white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. And also, they say the word edge whenever they're making a connection, too. Alright, All right, I got it. And as you can plainly see, you can actually get lots and lots of these coins that add up to your score. And you can actually use these coins to purchase items a bit later on. Just make sure not to make yourself too hard of a path. See how the edges connect? Does it make any sense? How is it not falling? I mean, what about gravity? Don't think about it. Just use it to your advantage. They won't fall, so make stairs with them. Just get used to it. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling a tower. Use the edges to create stairways. And that's the whole thing about the game. Making stairways and getting to the tip top. But of course, they're going to take it easy on you in the first level, obviously. Where is this? What is this ringing? As you near the top, you will hear a bell ringing. The exit is near. Hurry. Anyway. Good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a second! Also, the faster you scale the tower, the right, more points it. that you'll get. Right, right, I got it. I'll explain a few right, other things it. a bit later. I can get out through here. Oh, shit. 
Ray, we survived the first the first encounter with the tower. And depending on what difficulty you're playing on, you get a different multiplayer. And I believe for easy it is a times one. For this it's a times 1.5, and for hard it's times two. code review meeting really no no I'm just uh, just a little under the weather no no it's okay I'll be right there yeah um, sorry Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. In other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled hey, out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, Feather's though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's 
It's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? Well, that sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Why, who the fuck is calling me? Okay. Skippy Skippy. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, it makes me feel left up. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. Now, it's not shown right now, but this game has a morality system. You can go for a more honorable, I guess you can say, route, or you can go the dishonorable route. Does it bother you? You're overthinking it. Sorry, I can't think right now. And if you're wondering what route I'm going, I'm going to be going the dishonorable route, just for change of pace, I guess you can say. Brain's full of stuff. No, hope to be comfortable in life. I need to rush into this. To stress you out more. I'm pretty tired right now. So I'll this later. So, if you do things that'll more than likely piss off Catherine, it's going to go over to the left more. And if you want to agree with her more, it's going to go over to the right. When certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Ooh. 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 
Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. You got me. Spam? And might I add, this game has several endings. It's count it has two bad endings, three normal quote unquote endings, and three truth endings. Or true endings. So all together, that's eight endings. Yeah, and this is all from my other file, so if you have gold in your other file, it's not going to show up the ones that you have right now. And as you did see, I got a silver in mine, just because I was taking a bit too long. Hopefully I can speed things up, though. Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. Ah, it's late. You're about to go to the next scene without saving. Are you sure you want to continue without saving? Yes. I save when I damn well want to, narrator. Right, here we're starting off with night two. We're gonna get even more frantic from here. Prison of Despair. God, it takes forever to start. Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn, I can't remember. What's going on? Somebody oh, slipped him a roofie! Right. You're the new guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Well, they don't break immediately. They break after you step on it twice. Okay, let's move that over there. And the heavy blocks just take longer to actually push, and that's about it. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. Indeed it is. That way you can just skip right past this crap. And I believe that you do have to use the uh, 
the control pad. Sneak around like this. And voila! There's a lot of ways to get around in this game. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. You might find an easy path up. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. And also, these blocks with the faces on it, you cannot move them at all. Let me get back here. So those are pretty much stuck there indefinitely. But if you find a dark block without a face on it, that is actually a heavy block. And that you can move, it just takes a little bit longer than usual. You can also push rows of blocks all at once, too. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. Again, thank you very much. Checkpoint! I got it. When you touch a checkpoint, you will start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. Well, hell yeah, I'm not gonna not do it. Alright, I got it. Get all these coins. Cause I wanna be rich. Alright, I got it. Go pretty far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? My guess is everyone else is climbing. It's not that hard to figure out, Vince. Yeah, it's just not... It's not gonna be a short game. That's for sure. And all the black parts is the stage basically collapsing in on itself. Hey, actually got gold this time. Nice! Once it's all over, you'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no wait. You hurry, too. Hey! hey. You can't be serious. 